What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I want to talk about silver and try and answer the question, is it too late to start stacking? So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so is it too late to start buying silver? Because let's be honest, the price of silver has been going up dramatically over the last year. The bottom was in March of 2020 when silver dropped to about $12 an ounce, but now silver is sitting near $28 per ounce. And of course, this is just the spot price. The price for physical silver is actually much higher. These Silver Britannia coins over at SD Bullion are one of the best buys you could make right now. However, they're still commanding a near $6 premium above spot. So if the spot price for silver was right around $12 an ounce last year, and now it's over $30 an ounce to purchase physical silver, I'm sure there are people out there wondering, did they miss the boat? Did they miss their opportunity to get into silver? Now, to answer that question, I'm going to take you back in time all the way to 1964. 1964 was the last year that the U.S. government made our coins out of 90% silver. And this quarter right here is worth much more than a modern or clad quarter because of the silver content. If we go over to coinflation.com, we can see that these quarters are now worth over five dollars each and again this is just because of the silver they contain now the reason i'm bringing this up is because the money that we use today is not tied to gold and silver this is just fiat currency the government can print as much of this as they want and the more they print the weaker it ultimately becomes there's two things that you need for inflation the first thing that you need is expansion of the money supply and yes the government is expanding the money supply with all of the stimulus with all of the new budget proposals they're making more currency the second thing that you need is velocity of money or people actually going out and spending that money and people are starting to spend more money people are remodeling their houses they're going on vacation again and when all of this money continues to turn over this is going to drop the value of the u.s dollar just last month we can see inflation spiked up to 4.2 percent hitting a 13-year high now the question you need to ask yourself when you're thinking about buying physical silver is what do you think is going to happen to the dollar the dollar is inversely correlated to silver so if the dollar goes down silver goes up do you think the u.s government is going to stop with all of the stimulus packages do you think they're going to slow down on the unemployment benefits 42 percent of people who are receiving unemployment benefits from the u.s government are actually making more money than when they worked is the government going to stop these benefits no, they've actually extended them until September. So let's reel it in. Let's get back to the question. Is it too late to start stacking silver? Did you miss the boat? Well, in my opinion, absolutely not. Silver is just getting started. Open your eyes. The government is determined to weaken the U.S. dollar further and further and further they're not going to tighten up on their spending they're not going to try and lower the u.s national debt that is going to continue to go up now i'm not a financial advisor but honestly when i look at everything going on in the world today i think to myself how could you not be getting into silver right now it's time to back up the truck double down stack more silver that is what i'm doing right now now it doesn't really matter what type of physical silver you buy but it is important that you actually buy physical 
silver. You don't want to be getting any paper silver products such as SLV, even PSLV. These are ETFs that you can buy on an exchange. But the problem with these is there is some third party risk. You have to rely on an exchange. You need the internet, electricity, etc, etc. But physical silver, there's no third party risk. When you buy it, you can literally hold it in your hand. You know that you own it and you know that the government cannot inflate this away. This is true storage of your wealth. They can't just print more silver. They can print more dollars. They can't print more silver. Now, there really are many different varieties of physical silver to get into. You could be stacking silver bars. These are very popular, especially in the 10 ounce size. Or you could be getting junk silver. This 90% silver is called junk silver because it's not pure. It's 90% silver, 10% copper. Junk is not a derogatory term. That's just what we call it. You could also buy American Silver Eagles. They are very popular. One of my favorite things to stack. However, the premiums are very high on these right now because the demand is so high and the supply is so low. So maybe stick away from those at the moment and go with something like generic silver rounds generic silver rounds come in all different shapes and sizes most time you'll buy one ounce versions and the buffaloes are super popular but these will have a little bit lower of a premium some of the other versions let's see we got a cool five ounce one here this has got a little bit of a collector value on it uh what else do we got we got some more five ounce pieces of silver. Those are the America the Beautifuls. Uh, we got a nice Libertad here. That's pretty cool. Uh, here's a 10 ounce silver coin. Gotta love that dragon. I mean, I could go all day. I've been stacking silver for quite a long time. This is a full kilo silver coin right there. So yeah, lots of different types of silver. If you wanna watch my video on the best and the worst types of physical silver for stacking or investing, I'll put a link up in the corner as well as a link down below in the description. That actually is my most popular video I've ever made on this channel. I wanna say thank you to everyone who's watched it, who smashed that thumbs up. By the way, smash that thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it or if you learned anything it actually really does help with the YouTube algorithm and I also want to know what your thoughts are on getting into silver right now do you think it's too late to start silver stacking I obviously don't think it is too late I think silver is just starting its bull run and these bull runs can last five to ten years so i think we're still in the first inning there's a lot more room for it to go up but i do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you all in the next one silver dragons out